What's going on, party people? It's Kevin here, giving a gameplay commentary some Battlefield 3 Conquest on Dam of MP. Before I go into any further, though, look at this guy playing rug monsters in the middle of the parking lot. What are you doing, bro? I mean, you're doing it in the wrong spot. You gotta do that stuff back in your living room, man. It must be, must hurt just laying on the concrete like that. I mean, jeez. But, uh, <laughs> anyways, guys, if you guys are, uh, long-time subscribers of Krahu, which I'm sure many of you are, you know, you might remember me back in, I think, June of last year, or Crow who actually let me put up a Mono for 2 video for you guys to enjoy. And it actually was received pretty well, so I guess this time around, Crow thought, yeah, let's, let's give it a second go. So, round 2 is more Kevin Kulaks, why not? <laughs> so, if you guys don't know, which I'm sure many of you don't, uh, I like, with my kind of commentaries, I like, you know, do a little, talk about the game a little bit, but mostly what I like to do is kind of have a more of a discussion about the game that, you know, it's being presented in front of you guys, or some kind of topic that's related to it, because, you know, we all kind of know, just like, yeah, take cover, you know, maneuver yourself around the map, don't expose yourself too much, it's all the same kind of stuff, everybody gets, if you want tips and tricks, there are plenty of channels for that, I like kind of more gaming discussions, because I like talking to, you know, just other people who have the same common interests as me, for, you know, in this, in this topic right here, it's actually just gaming, but so the topic I want to touch on in this game, is the difference between console and PC Battlefield, which there is a significant difference between the two. For, you know, one thing, you're actually able to have more people, or no more people, or even just be able to customize how many people you want in a match. Because, uh, in, you know, on uh, PC, you can have anywhere from, well, like, a 16-player limit to 64-player limit. It's, like, it's ridiculous, you know, how many people you can, you know, have in a single match. On console, it's the same all around. It's 24 players per server, yeah, no matter what. Which is kind of a letdown because you know, it's just sometimes I find this game running a little slow on console. And by the way, I left this clip in here in here because you can see that guy walk around the corner. But bam, bitch, <laughs> gets destroyed by that Humvee. I just I was laughing so hard when I was playing this game when I saw that. <laughs> Love another funny clip coming up here in a bit as well. Well, not really funny, but just kind of awkward. <laughs> but yeah, like, and also on, you know, PC though, the main issue that, that I've been having with is that there are many, actually the majority I would say are gigantic ticket servers that you can join in. Like, um, most of them I think are probably like a thousand ticket servers. I've seen, even seen like a 1500 ticket server, which that game would probably last about like almost two hours, and I don't understand that. And I don't understand why this guy knew I was repairing him, but then backed up into a corner, which got me stuck, and then got me killed. God damn it! <laughs> so that's one issue I've been kind of finding with PC is that there are a lot of like thousand ticket servers and the like Operation Metro 24/7. I'm just like, why would you do that? That just sounds like a complete headache waiting to happen. Because if any of you guys play this game reg regularly. Y'all know that Operation Metro is probably the worst map, I think probably in Battlefield history. I think a lot of people would probably agree with me with that statement. But that's really the only map I have a major issue with. I mean, this map is, Dam of M Peak can be kind of an issue as well because there are some pretty serious choke points trying to get to that B flag. Like, if you're playing this, I've, been, I've played this before on a 64 man server, and it's almost impossible trying to get out of your spawn with 64, you know, 32 other players trying to kill you. It's, stuff gets pretty tricky. No, but there, but there are ways to get around it. Like jumping in a helicopter and going over to their spawn cap and their flag. So there's, there's always some way to get out. You're not completely stuck in a corner, basically. So that's what that's one thing I've always enjoyed about the Battlefield series, is that you're never really 100% pinned down. Unlike, you know, sometimes I feel like in Call of Duty, where, you know, has a... I'm sure, I'm sure you guys have all seen that one uh, gameplay where uh, the guy goes like, well, 140 and like 0 or 2 or something like that. And gets like 5 Moabs because he's like literally sitting in a corner staring at a spawn point and just gets killed after kills after kill. Like, that doesn't happen here in Battlefield. I mean, you can kind of... I mean, I've had it happen where you spawn and then get killed pretty much instantly, but that's more just kind of like spawning on your enemies. Or, I mean, not enemies, but your teammates rather than on random points. So that's kind of uh, different. You have a, a difference between the Call of Duty and Battlefield series, and you now a big thing is what I've been hearing a lot from the PC community is they are really bitching about this patch that they want to come out for Battlefield, which is gonna, which is supposed to come out. I think, well, they actually there's no date for it, but I'm assuming my fingers are crossed that hopefully it'll be out before this month is over, 
because they, uh, they said they were going to get it out before the you know, DLC for this game, which is going to be out in June, which is going to be called Close Quarters. Because I feel like with the Close Quarters maps, they're going to go directly just at the throat of Call of Duty. Just being like, we will beat you! Just like choking and just like trying to strangle it down. But then, you know, when I'm thinking about it, can Battlefield really beat Call of Duty? I mean, Battlefield is a very hardcore gamer kind of experience. I, mean, I can't picture like anybody, kind of a casual gamer, just picking this game up and just kind of going like, oh yeah, it's fun just running around and stuff like that. Because it's a very tactical, uh, a lot of teamwork is needed to do well in this game, unlike in Call of Duty, which you can just completely Rambo everything by yourself. Which is, you know, and then, you know, the games for, uh, on console are generally about 25 minutes. You know, on PC, it depends, of course, on how many tickets you play on. I mean, if you're playing a thousand ticket server, that game could take up to an hour. But, you know, some, I've played a few matches where, like, you know, they have uh, 150 tickets. In this game, I think right here, I think the standard for Conquest and console is I think 250 for most of the maps, which I think is a perfect amount. I think you know a good Battlefield match is anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes, and that's a good length. But as you guys all know, all good things must come to an end, and the good thing here is this great gameplay. Uh, so if you guys want to come by my channel and just say hello, I would greatly appreciate it. You know I do play other games, I play Battlefield, Call of Duty, even Modern Warfare 3. I still post that. <laughs> Uh, I play like uh, games like Blacklight Retribution. Um, I've been very currently doing a Mass Effect 3 playthrough, which I've been really enjoying. So if uh, uh, you know, I've heard a lot about that ending, which you know I haven't gotten to, to yet, but I will hopefully beat it by this weekend. So you know, leave a rating as well for a uh, crowd because he's doing a really nice thing, letting me uh, get my content out to the masses and get a little more exposure. So thanks, thank you a lot, Krahu. I really do appreciate it. I still appreciate the first time you let me do it. I appreciate it even more the second time you let me do it. <laughs> so, thanks for watching, guys. As always, I really appreciate it. Uh, I think the final score, I think I mentioned earlier, was uh, 28 and 5. Got the MVP ribbon, so it's all good. And so, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later. Peace out.